So I'm going to show you how to change a product from a simple product to a variable product. First, we actually need to go into Attributes, which is under Products. I've got that open in another tab here. If you need to add a new attribute, uh, you just type it in, hit Enter. You can forget about the other four values here. Just type it in, hit Enter. You can create a few attributes really quickly that way. Then we actually have to give the attribute some values. And here we're just going to click on Configure Terms. And that brings us to the different values your attribute can have. If you need to add more, you just type it in here, hit Enter. You can forget about slug parent and description for the most part. And these are the different values your attribute can can have. Uh, an attribute could be color, in which case you'd have red, blue, green, whatever color here you want. That's kind of how attributes work. Now that you've got the attributes set up, it actually becomes very easy. You go back to your edit product and you switch from simple product to variable product. Let's expand this. Go down and we have to select the attribute that we're going to be using, which for this wheel is bushing or bearing size, so let's go ahead and add that. And we have to pick which values we want to work with with this particular wheel. I'm going to go with select all, and I realize that this one here does not apply to this product, so I'm going to get rid of that, leaving us with the A, B, or C value here. So I'm going to save that. We're halfway here. There's one more step. We have to also set up variations where we can set up prices and SKUs for each of this, these variations. So we be, it, it's really easy to forget to check use for variations, but that's actually very important. So then let's go down to variations here. And typically, I'll just click on Link All Variations. That will, the only time you don't want to do that is if you have multiple attributes with lots of different values. It could make a bit of a mess. Uh, but if you just have a few, you know, one attribute with a few values, click on that Link All Variations and you're good to go. So now you see you've got your different uh, variations of the attribute values here. Uh, there should be three of them. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you get the price put in. That's very important. They can be different or the same. Uh, totally up to you. Then the SKU is uh, optional. But let's go ahead and put it in WZ1-49UA in this instance. And then we're going to change this to B. We're going to change this to C. So the different variation values have different skew numbers. Uh, so really all we've done is put the price and the skew. Uh, if there's a sale price or any of this other information, fill it in. But for the most part, price and SKU is all you need. Hit update, you're good to go. Then when someone goes to buy it, they'll have a little drop-down menu by the Add to Cart button where they can pick which uh, variation they want.